Here's an example where it's important to make choices in the domain and the range of an explicit solution when we use the technique of separation of variables. Section 1.2, number 31. Here's the differential equation and the initial condition. The differential equation is separable. When we integrate both sides, we have tan inverse of y equals 1 half t squared plus c. Apply tangent to both sides. y equals tangent of 1 half t squared plus c. And then using our initial condition, 1 is equal to tangent of c. There are many numbers that have a tangent of 1. We're going to choose pi over 4. We could choose others, like 5 pi over 4, or minus 3 pi over 4. But then we'd have to adjust our work when we check the domain in a second. So y is equal to tan of 1 half t squared plus pi over 4. So because of our choice of pi over 4, and we know that tangent is defined in bands of pi over 2 plus or minus an integer of pi, we set 1 half t squared plus pi over 4 between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. We choose that band because when t is equal to 0, we have to have pi over 4 between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. There's our second choice, choice of the c, now choice of the band. Solve this inequality by subtracting pi over 4 from all three pieces of the inequality, doubling all three pieces of the inequality. Of course, t squared is always greater than any negative number, so we only have to consider when is t squared less than pi over 2. If you take the square root of both sides, technically, you have to say the absolute value of t is less than the square root of pi over 2, which is about 1.25. So that gives us our solution. Our solution exists in a band between minus pi over 2 square rooted and pi over 2 square rooted. Our solution is tangent of 1 half t squared plus pi over 4. And here's a sketch of the solution on the right hand side with the initial condition 0, 1 marked.